who doesn't love butterflies? And as an admitted die-cut addict, I have a very hard time resisting buying any butterfly die I see. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and this summer I have not resisted buying some gorgeous butterfly dies. And in this video, I'm sharing a bunch of cards I made and also showing you how to make an easel pillar butterfly card. I'm also celebrating my five-year anniversary here on YouTube, so be sure to stick around to the end to find out how to qualify to win a prized package of dies, stamps, and other goodies valued at about $100. My first card is so simple to make with a new Gemini Create a Card die called Butterfly Garden, but I just love the look. Isn't that pretty? All I needed to do was die cut it and put it over a blue card base. Just beautiful. This one shows how that same die can be used without the flowers and um, cut down to an A2 size card. So I did it with a pretty pink mirror card and just had the two butterflies. Again, very simple um, but beautiful. Now all the details of all the cards that I show will be on my blog and there are links in the description box to those blog posts as well as to the products featured. I love the look of this slimline embossing folder from Nellie's Choice and adding the embossed butterflies just made it perfect. Isn't that beautiful with, I just spun some yellow and green inks on that 3D embossing folder. Just gorgeous. And here's two more cards I made with another Gemini die. I just love it. This one is a heart and again more butterflies. Um, here's two sunny days ahead with a beautiful patterned mirror card on that one. And this one, again, very simple. Those beautiful embossed butterflies around the heart. Um, I am, you know, loving all these butterfly cards. In the August release at Creeley's, there were a bunch of butterfly dies, and I just couldn't resist them. In my video last week, and there's a link in the description box. I showed how to make full rice paper with napkins and glue. And I had some lovely pieces sitting around here. So I used them on my Creeley's butterfly cards. This one here is the large swallowtail butterfly that can be cut to create a card that stands up. You just attach of course the front and the back there and um, again very simple but a beautiful stand alone butterfly card. Um, I also used that same large uh, swallowtail butterfly die um, and also on this one I used the new Varia sw swallowtail butterfly die on top. So uh, more of that pretty faux rice paper. Um, this is a gold mirror card. And I layered the two butterflies together for a simple but um, lovely butterfly card. Here's a piece of that faux rice paper that I created. And again, now there's a link in the description box. It was last week's video. All you need to do to create this is some white glue and a napkin and you can use the second and third layers which is what I've done here. So for the butterfly that I'm going to create for in this card, I have die cut the top layer out of that beautiful transparent uh, full rice paper and I'm going to lay these three layers all together to make this beautiful butterfly. Now let me show you that die. Um, it is a very large butterfly. I'll show you the main piece in a minute. Um, I am going to cut, uh, do some partial die cutting with it. Um, this is the Varia butterfly. It's two layers. Um, and then I'm also using this butterfly here from a set of six. So let's put 
this butterfly together. Again, it is three layers and it is a large swallow tail. And um, you can choose, of course, and on some of the cards, I just used this piece. Um, but in this case, I am using all three um, layers of the butterfly. And I'm just got some two sided tape here to attach the white layer to the iridescent mirror card that I'm using and that is from Tonic Studios. Now this piece here again is somewhat see-through so I'm going to attach it with glue dots. I think I'll use um, a bigger one on the center Off there okay and then I have some smaller ones here that I am going to put on the tips of all four of the wings glue dots and two-sided tape um, generally do not show through this full paper that I created. I need one more. Oh, there it is. I knew I had four there. I could feel it. It's full rice paper and it's translucent. Very beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Can I pick that up again? I sure hope so. Don't go down that fast. <laughs> okay, let's get that lined up. And then get these attached. So, I just got to move that just a little bit more to get that flat. Our beautiful three layer butterfly is complete and ready to go. I am going to make an easel card and I'll show you in a second um, how, I die, how I cut out the uh, card to make that. But right now I was going to show you how to do partial die cutting. I only want the bottom half of this die cut um, to cut and so um, I am going to line the top plate up right to um, the center of this butterfly and then I like to tape it in place so that it stays where I want it. So the only part that's going to cut is where there are two glass plates. Uh, my die cutter, um, die cutting machine is off camera, but um, I will run this through and show you how this works. So I only cut the bottom half where the two plates were. And this is the largest butterfly of that uh, large swallowtail die set from Creelys. So 
as you can see, um, this is a uh, five by five, five by ten, uh, five. I'm sorry, five and a half by eleven um, square card. And because I want it to be an easel, I have folded down the this part here. Um, and uh, this is where I'm going to put the pillars that are going to hold it. So this bottom part here is where I'm going to attach this butterfly. So I just need to trim right along this line up to where I cut. So this is going to fold down with this butterfly and I'm going to attach this down here and that is going to be our butterfly easel. I am going to attach some tape and I think some more, um, let's see here, I think some of this. Good strong tape to attach this larger butterfly and hold it in place. And I have some really skinny of that strong tape. I have a little bit left. And I want to put a little piece here to hold the bottom pieces in place as well. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up very carefully. Let's see if I get this to be over where it's supposed to be. Have to stay in place. No. <laughs> All right, let's try a micro glue dot instead. It's amazing, isn't it, how all these different adhesive um, things that we have and that we didn't have years ago, but each one is perfect for certain jobs, right? And I just want to hold the bottom parts here down on here. For one thing, um, that's going to what's going to be what holds the butterfly in place and also becomes the easel. So it needs to be weighted a little bit. So there we have. Uh, it will stay in place because we're going to put some pillars down here that is going to become um, what's going to hold the easel in place. In my video next week, I am going to share a whole bunch of ideas with this die from Creelys called A Lot of Pillar Cards. And believe me, it makes all sorts, single, double, you know, triple, um, all sorts of things. And one of the fun things I learned how to do was to create a, an easel with it. So um, I have die cut out two of the main pieces and I cut them down to five and a half. So you can cut them any size you want. I want them to be five and a half along the bottom. And I have cut some uh, layering pieces. Um, I love stitched. 
you know there are ones that aren't stitched but my favorites are the stitched so I cut some stitched um, layers out of that same iridescent mirror card and I'm going to create a pillar uh, pillars along the bottom that's going to hold this uh, easel uh, together so I've cut two of these um, one of them I already put together um, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. Um, you simply, the, the die cut cuts the rectangle and also scores these lines. And one side is just a little bit uh, shorter, uh, less width than the other ones. And that's where you're going to put a piece of good, strong two-sided tape. If you simply fold it down and then fold this on top, you've created a pillar. It's that easy. And again, I already cut it to five and a half. Now, um, I want to mark, I am going to put a good strong piece of two-sided tape along the bottom. And then these two are going to go together. So um, this is the bottom. And then these two are going to go together. This is the front. Okay, so I also want to put an X there. So these two are going to fit together. So I want to put a layer on there and there on the two sides that are not marked by the X. And I have these ready with some skinny two-sided score tape. There are stitches on the end, but because I cut this a little shorter, I won't have stitches on both sides. So I just um, put it right down the center and um, have them come off and then trim it to be the right length. And I don't want it where the X is marked. I want the two that are not marked with an X. And again, right down the center, off the sides. And now I want to attach some good strong two-sided tape, the red liner tape, um, on the two sides that have an X. Because these two are going to go together to create a double pillar at the bottom of the card to so this is the front the front has um, one along here this is the back so the two of them are going to go together with this piece line them up And then um, these are going to be attached at the bottom. Now on the back here, I used another of the new Creelys dies. This one is the wonky, the square with wonky stitches on it, just for a place to leave a mess, sign a message. Um, I just love those new wavy dies there. Um, this is going to be attached along the bottom, and um, I want to make sure 
And maybe if I lift it up, I'll... I'm not sure. Um, I think I made them just a tinge longer than what I needed. So this should line up along the bottom. And... see they're off by just a little bit, but I think I can trim them to line up. I'm not sure I can do that side, but I think I'll try to hide it a little bit with, um, I'm going to put a sentiment on there. So this is going to hold the butterfly easel. Um, I have um, a pretty butterfly that I'm going to attach and maybe I will put it on this side. I don't know what you guys if you can see it or not. This one I'm not going to be able to cut to line up because then it will be too far in. But I can put this um, butterfly that I have uh, ready to go um, over on that side and um, hide that little tiny little discrepancy. This is um, from a set of six butterflies and of course all the links to all the dyes and uh, products I'm featuring are in the description box. So I have one more glue dot over here and that one is going to go in the center. What I like to do when I attach butterflies if I can, I like to use a glue dot in the center that holds the center down. And then I'm using um, some pop dots, but it's, you know, it's, it's strips, adhesive strips that will pop it up. And so um, the wings will stay up. If I have that go down, and then the wings will stay up because it has those adhesive strips on there. So there's a pretty butterfly. I created that out of that same um, full rice paper. In this case, I put it over a blue, that blue um, iridescent mirror card. And so you get a, a different look, but it's um, very, very pretty there. And then I have um, die cut out Happy Birthday with another Creeley's dies. And I put it on uh, some... Uh, easy cut adhesive so it's going to stick very easily to here um, the I'm going to try to have the birthday um, get that out of the way this is started. There it is. There it goes. Now this is very sticky. But where I want this to be is along this part here. I have to get that out of there and that out of the way. Okay. And this. Get the little pieces there. So um it's very sticky. Um, I want this to be along here. Happy birthday. And the happy part is going to be on top. Hmm. 
Well, it ripped apart, but I think I can fix it. So happy is going to go up here. So we have the easel birthday butterfly, uh, beautiful three layers there. This will lay flat, the easel, uh, the, this part will go down and that will go down um, and then it says happy birthday um, with a place to write a message on the back. I really like how that card and all the other cards turned out. And I hope my cards encourage you to give some of these ideas and products a try. I've had great fun sharing card making ideas here on YouTube with you the last five years. And to celebrate, I'm going to give away a prize package valued at about $100 to one lucky commenter here on this video before August 29th. Now to qualify, you must have a USA mailing address and tell me in your comment which butterfly card you liked the best. And leave that comment before August 29th, 2022. Just look at all the stamps and dies and other goodies that you will receive along with your card. Whichever card you pick out that was your favorite from um, early on in the video or now, um, I will send the card and all of these. Um, I figured this one was perfect. It says celebrate and that's what we're doing. A die set um, from Karen Berniston. That one's valued at $20 alone. This is a die and stamp set from Honeybee just because you're a keeper. Um, another stamp set with the dies to match from Lawn Fawn. Um, a Creelys mask or stencil and a pretty stamp from them. Um, Crafter's Companion, a whole set of butterflies, very appropriate, right? And flower stamps. Um, a whole bunch of uh, sequins. Uh, Gina Marie designs some of her uh, doodads, uh, gems, I guess. And everybody can use some more 3D foam squares. So a whole huge prize package that you could qualify for. But make sure your comment um, includes your favorite butterfly and um, that you have a valid USA mailing address. In fact, if you tell me where you live, that would be the best thing. So um, watch the next video for some more ideas with Creelys dies, and then send some of your handmade cards out into the world to spread some joy.